When you achieve something significant, you're often celebrated. However, some people might try to bring you down if they can't match your success. In the past, space exploration was dominated by big players like NASA and Roscosmos. Today, SpaceX is leading the charge, achieving things that were once hard to imagine. Other space companies are eager to compete with SpaceX. When they realize they can't keep up, they sometimes try to block its progress. Recently, ULA and Blue Origin have made efforts to disrupt SpaceX's Starship program. ULA has even filed a lawsuit against the FAA to block SpaceX's Starship launch plans in Florida. In this video, we'll discuss how ULA and Blue Origin are attempting to challenge SpaceX and how SpaceX is responding to these tactics. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. ULA has recently filed a lawsuit against the FAA to block SpaceX's Starship launch plans in Florida. It's quite ironic because it's normal for environmental groups to file such lawsuits, but it's unusual for one space company to try to block another's rocket launches. They're concerned about the environmental impacts and whether Starship can really make it to the moon and Mars. Firstly, they argue that the FAA's environmental impact statement for SpaceX's operations in Florida is not enough. They point out that Starship, which is still in its experimental phase, has faced multiple technical challenges during tests at SpaceX's Boca Chica site in Texas, including a notable explosion in April 2023 that spread debris over a six-mile radius. Furthermore, ULA claims that SpaceX has admitted Starship is not meeting expected performance levels. To address these shortcomings, SpaceX plans to increase the size and thrust of the rocket, which ULA argues will lead to greater environmental and safety issues than previously assessed. They also noted that SpaceX intends to launch a larger version of Starship from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida which would significantly exceed the size and payload capacity of the current test models. The FAA is currently conducting a new environmental impact statement to evaluate the potential impacts of these changes. The outcome of this environmental review will be crucial for SpaceX's future operations at Kennedy Space Center. In addition to environmental concerns, ULA questions the timeline and practicality of SpaceX's goals for lunar and Mars missions, especially given the current performance issues and the complexity of required technologies like the in-orbit refueling system. These concerns are echoed by other analyses, including a recent NASA assessment that suggests a potential delay in the Artemis III mission, which relies on Starship for lunar landings. It's important to note that ULA is owned by Boeing, and considering Boeing's recent issues with the Starliner spacecraft, it's puzzling why they are focusing on blocking SpaceX instead of fixing their own problems. The most recent launch of Starliner in 2024 has faced serious issues, leaving astronauts stuck on the International Space Station. This mission was supposed to be a significant milestone for Boeing's Starliner, marking its first crewed flight. However, just before the scheduled return of the astronauts, several problems were discovered. Firstly, engineers detected helium leaks in the spacecraft's service module, with three small leaks identified early in the mission. Although these leaks were deemed non-critical and the mission continued, they have caused delays in planning the return journey. Additionally, an issue with an oxidizer isolation valve that is not properly closing has added to the complications. Moreover, the soft links used in the parachute system were found to have lower-than-expected stress limits, raising concerns about the spacecraft's ability to safely land. These soft links are crucial components that connect the parachutes to the spacecraft and take a significant amount of force during descent. This issue has necessitated a redesign and further testing of the parachute system before the astronauts can safely return to Earth. There's a saying that goes, when dogs bark, the caravan moves on. This means that despite criticism or obstacles, one keeps moving forward. Similarly, while companies like ULA and Blue Origin are trying to stop SpaceX, Musk isn't even bothered by the noise. He and his team continue to make history with their rockets, especially Starship. The rocket, which already is the largest rocket ever constructed, is about to grow even larger. The current model stands at an impressive height of 121 meters with a diameter of 9 meters. 
However, there are discussions about increasing its height and possibly widening it for future missions. Imagine the possibilities with a rocket that is bigger and more powerful than ever before. These changes matter because they enable the spacecraft to carry more fuel. Starship's fuel tanks are crucial to its operations. Larger tanks mean more fuel, enabling longer and more effective missions. Engineers prefer cylindrical tanks as they help distribute the pressure from the stored fuel evenly, ensuring a safer and more reliable journey to space. Musk mentioned that upcoming Starship models might be broader than the current 9 meters. While the initial rings of Starship V2 remain the same width, Starship V3 is anticipated to be a game-changer, potentially boasting a diameter of 12 meters, or even 18 meters. This enhancement could revolutionize space travel, offering exciting possibilities for future missions. If Starship V3's diameter increases to 12 meters, it could hold 2,300 tons of propellant. However, increasing the diameter to 18 meters would require stronger or additional engines to handle the increased size. These modifications must be carefully considered to ensure the spacecraft's efficiency and safety. Creating bigger rockets and upgrading facilities can be costly, and SpaceX must secure approval from the Federal Aviation Administration to proceed with these operations. The Starship's future looks promising, with potential developments of even larger models like V-4 or V-5. Meanwhile, SpaceX's workhorse rocket, the Falcon 9, continues to deliver impressive results. It has become the most frequently launched orbital class rocket in history, with its reusable first-stage setting records for the number of missions flown. The Falcon 9 is a two-stage rocket designed and manufactured by SpaceX for the reliable and safe transport of satellites and the Dragon spacecraft into orbit. Its first stage is powered by nine Merlin engines, which are capable of generating a thrust of 7,600 at sea level. The Falcon 9's second stage, powered by a single Merlin vacuum engine, delivers the payload to its final orbit. One of the Falcon 9's most remarkable achievements is its ability to land and be reused. The first stage can return to a landing site or an autonomous drone ship in the ocean, making it the first orbital-class rocket capable of reflight. This reusability significantly reduces the cost of space access and has enabled SpaceX to conduct more frequent launches. As of 2024, the Falcon 9 has completed over 200 successful missions, making it the most reliable rocket in the world. While the Falcon 9 may not match the sheer size and capabilities of Starship, it remains a crucial part of SpaceX's fleet. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.